How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I am very excited for today's video. It is very short notice, but I am still thrilled nevertheless. We are going to be taking the Mustang to Mexico to go bully some kids. Now I have taken the car racing before and I've raced some of my buddies and some like little setup races and stuff like that, but I have not gone and seen how it will do at a roll racing night. I miss going to these and I haven't gone in a cool minute because my cars have been down, but today we are taking it out and we will see how it does. I'd say it's been at least a year or two since I went to my last roll night. I have I haven't taken the Supra to any yet just because I mean the Supra is cool and all but people expect it to have a thousand horsepower because it's a Supra so I don't it, it's a street car at the end of the day this is my race car I had been waiting for the student to get back from the shop so I can actually go to one of these uh, I'm worried a little bit about the brakes because I mean I am on stock brakes but for the most part I think we'll be okay I'm just not gonna do too many back-to-back -back high-speed runs I think it'll be fun and we'll get to see how the car actually performs down in Mexico now you if you guys watch my super versus Mustang video you'll know that the clutch on the Mustang I think is slipping a little bit I don't know I'll just try not to rev it out so high I think it'll be fine I think we're gonna have fun it won't be that hot because it'll be at night it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun so if you want to see this Mustang kick a lot of cars ass down in Mexico stay tuned now the race meet isn't for a few hours it is currently 6 30 and the race meet is around 11 so we have a few hours to kill I'm gonna do my little pre-race checks I'm gonna make sure all my fluids are all topped off I'm gonna make sure that the car has good oil which it does it hasn't been that long make sure the tire pressures are all good just do my little things and then we should be ready to go I don't know what to expect if I'm being honest I haven't been to a race meet hosted by these people before so I again I don't know what to expect there could be a lot of fast cars there could be a lot of shit boxes I have absolutely no idea so all I know is it's gonna be a whole lot of fun let's go kick some ass all right we pulled up at the meet we got no lift shift my cameraman here we're gonna walk around see what the competition's looking like let's go at first glance this is what we're working with we got a m3 right here hood popped i don't i'm not a bmw guy i don't know what i'm looking at here let me know down in the comments ss hood popped as well underneath the hood i mean it looks like the stock v8 but still v8 i mean there's a lot of cars here we'll have to see which ones are are down to run it we got a gopro mounted on the the roof is it a 360 camera? Oh, it's a 360 camera. That's sick. I need one of those. Then, then you're out of a job. <laughs> That'll be sick, though. It sounds nice. I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep walking. Hood popped on the vet. We got an LS2. Fuck, I can't see shit. It's super dark out. Don't worry. No, Brian, don't worry. I got it. You're, you're just, you're fired. Um, I think it's just, I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks stock to me. I mean, I see an, an intake, but I don't know what else I'm looking at. Cops just came, but I noticed there's a... Oh, there's a little mouth on the, the front end of this Integra. So that's pretty sick. We'll have to see what he's got. But yeah, cops just came. It looks like everyone's about to roll out. So I guess let's go. We didn't get to look around that much, but fuck it. Two quick things I would like to mention. First things first, I don't know the mods of every car I raced. Uh, if I put a little description, then that's because I was told at the second meet what the car had. Secondly, I also started every single race in third gear. There's no point in second in my car because I will not hook. So I started in third. Instead of fighting for traction, I just did a little fishing simulator and just reeled everyone in. Made for better content. Let's look.
guys, we made it. We're gonna do a quick lap at the second meet since we didn't really get to see anything at the first one. Had a lot of fun racing. Hopefully there's another location because I wanna go out there and see what my car can do. We had some clutch slipping issues, some tire traction issues once we got onto a different freeway, but for the most part, it went really well. Here's one of the N54s we're racing. Single turbo, precision. Uh, hopefully it'll focus, there we go. Uh, what size do you think that is? It's like an 84, right? No, I'm <laughs> no it's, it's single turbo though. It's still dope. Um, what else? Can I see anything else? I mean, I'm not a BMW guy. Yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, it looks like stock manifold. Front mount. Front mount, is it? Yep, front mount. Nice, Arm. front mount. Yep. Sick. I mean, that's cool. It was one of the faster cars. All right, so here's some of the cars that went. We didn't race any of these. We raced a whole lot of Beamers and a, pretty much this lineup on we raced. So we got... This Mustang, I think we raced at one point. This Infinity is a subscriber, which is great. That was cool. My car. An EcoBoost, we didn't race him, but we did race the N54 right next to him, which is actually really dope. Another Corvette, we didn't get a chance to race. Thing looks fucking crazy as fuck. Apparently, it's pretty quick. Didn't get a chance to run it, but fuck, I mean, it, it looks aggressive, so that's saying enough right here. What is this? Is this a 5.0? Yep. 5.0 aftermarket wheel setup. I mean, it looks pretty sick. I'm not a huge fan of Chrome, but fuck, I mean. I'm not gonna lie, that thing looks pretty nice. Couple cars leaving, we didn't get a chance to race any of these Mopar boys, but that would have been fun. Did we race this Beamer? No. No, I don't think we raced him. We might have raced his, no, I don't even know if we raced his buddy. There's a lot of cars, man, a lot of BMWs. Here's another one we definitely did not race. Did we race a white one? No. Nope. No? Yeah, see a lot of the cars we raced, I don't think they pulled up to this meet. Didn't race any bikes, we got a couple liter bikes here. Didn't race them. Uh, don't know if I would have done anything against them because my clutch is slipping, but still would have been fun. A couple more cars. I think we raced the blue Beamer, the S550, no, and I don't know if we raced, is it, did we race your clone? No, we did not race my clone. Okay, yeah, your clone's on stock wheels, so I don't remember racing it, but I think we beat the S550 and we beat the other car, whatever it is, the 235 or the 335, whatever it is. Seems like everyone is leaving. We were talking to a subscriber. Let me turn this around. We were talking to a subscriber, so we didn't get a chance to actually record all the cars. But either way, still a lot of fun racing. I'll see you guys at home. All right, guys, we just made it back to my house, and I was just inspecting the tires, and look at those motherfuckers, bro. That shit is thrashed. So I think we still have some life, life left, but uh, definitely tires need an upgrade, and the clutch needs an upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and get inside and start editing this footage, see how it all came out. Haven't obviously looked at it yet. Um, the car did really well. The clutch is definitely smoked, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and place an order for a new clutch ASAP. The tires, I'm gonna go ahead and just waste them. They don't hook very well, so I'm gonna go with the Radio Pros from Mickey Thompson. I heard that those are a bit better. I'll go with those, same size, and hopefully that will make all the difference, but car performed really well. It was its first time out at an actual roll night. Car did really great. We made it back safe and sound. It's on one piece. I do wanna get the Supra fixed because its clutch is dragging, but that'll be sometime this week, hopefully. And then we can take that one out to the next one and see how that one does. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head inside to start editing this footage. Brian here, my handy cameraman. Go follow him at No Lift Shift. He has his one Jay-Z swap Miata that he's about to get back. So that's pretty. that's a pretty big thing, man. Like We've been missing it. And then we can get the rematch with the WAP, which is, I think, behind me back there. So don't worry. We have WAP content. We have his Miata coming back. We're going to have super content, Mustang content, McLaren content, everything. Subscribe. And until next video, peace.